Hi everyone, this is Joanna. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for stopping by. Hopefully you'll enjoy this video so much, you will click that subscribe button at the end. And a huge hello to all my wonderful subscribers. Thank you guys so much for coming out week after week, watch my videos and support my channel. And with that being said, let's get started on the first project. Today we are going to be making a lantern and we are using a waste basket, two dollar tree box frames and a dowel, actually one dowel, 36 inch dowel, half inch by half inch and that one I got from Home Depot for 78 cents. We are also going to use a plastic, uh, actually metal container, I'm not going to use that ball. So disregard that and we're just going to deconstruct the waste basket which means take the top off take the bottom off and then cut it uh, in the middle and get it flat the waste basket you see here was in black but actually the one that I'm going to use in the project is going to be white now uh, the dowels I cut them just a little bit longer than that the width of the mesh from the waste basket so actually the dowels are nine inches tall and I'm going to glue them to all four corners of my um, box and you can see here that I am using the white uh, mesh basket and I'm folding the edge and the reason why I'm folding it is because I'm going to go with the stapler and I'm going to staple it to the inside end of the legs and I didn't know if I should put all four legs in it first and uh, I think that that was probably the best choice so here you can see that I'm just adjusting the mesh so that it fits nicely and after my first leg is done I'm going to go ahead and fold the mesh again and I'm going to make sure that it's going to line up with my other leg and I decided that it's probably a much better idea to keep the other frame on to keep all the legs nice and tight and in line so you can see I'm folding it here and I'm going to be ready to do some stapling and in the beginning you did see me use a black uh, waste basket and as I was proceeding with the project I did mess up on it big time and the white basket was the only thing that I had left which is perfectly fine because I wanted the lan lantern to be white anyways. And here you have it, it came out very nice, I like it. I put some staplers at the bottom to hold it flat and you could see that they were poking out a little bit, which really wasn't a big deal because I'm on nice hand it down. But here's my second side that is gonna go in and I'm doing three sides total. One is gonna be open and you can see that again, I'm folding that one edge and I'm going to place it on one of my legs and the stapler goes in to work. Um, I'm still experiencing, experimenting with the stapler, so I'm not all that great with it. Now I did try glue gun and it did not work out well. So here you have it, all three sides are in. I'm showing you that the staplers went through a little bit, not a big deal, like I said. It sanded down just fine. And at this point, I already attached the top to it. And I'm also adding a couple of glue dots on top to hold the mesh in place. Use shower ring and a little metal container for my top. And I also found a little gift box, this one, that I thought that would be so much nicer and it really did add a lot to it. So actually it wasn't a gift box, it was the top for a gift box. So this is what I decided to do. It's a gift box and then the metal container and then the shower ring on top. Now everything is going to get a nice coat of chalk paint and plaster. So there you have it and now I took some uh, burnt umber and black and I'm sponging the edges adding ed adding um, the color to the edges and I actually went back and I added even more 
paint to the edges. It's al it was almost unnatural and I'm letting it dry. And after it dried, I went with a wet wipe. I probably dr let it dry for 15, 20 minutes. And when you start wiping it with the wet wipe, all those brush marks are coming to life and it looks so neat. It really is such an awesome effect. Hopefully you'll be able to see it in the video, but that's all I'm doing. I'm just using wet wipe and I'm just scrubbing, scrubbing as hard as I can. And you can see that a lot of that paint is coming off, but quite a bit of it is staying in and it's very nice aged effect. There you have it. You can see it a little bit better and I did the same thing to the top. And there you have it. Here is my piece. I put my candle in there. I think it came out so nice. This is my first official lantern and I just love it. <laughs> Off we go to the next project. I'm using the rings from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to keep the two smaller ones together. Now I'm just grabbing a piece of twine, tying it to the inside ring and I'm going to start wrapping it. Just wrapping it in circles and uh, those little metal pieces that are in between the two circles are going to help me hold the twine in place so it doesn't just move to one side. That's why I'm using the inside rather than the outside. It's just you have much more control with it. There is no rhyme reason the way I do it. I'm just going for it at this point and create a, creating a pattern. <laughs> And I'm also going to end it by tying a knot at the end so all my strings are going to be very nice and tied. And here you have it. I run out of the twine so not a big deal. We're just going to add an, another piece to it and off we continue with the work. Right, so now I'm grabbing some coffee and I'm mixing, um, it's instant coffee and I added it to hot water and I made a very thick slurry. And I'm putting my uh, cloth, cloth pins in because I want to dye them and I heard that the coffee really does a good job dyeing. So after they're already almost completely submerged, I'm sprinkling some coffee on top. And so you can see that it adds a really nice touch to the pins. So you can see right here, they've been already dyed and I'm just going to go in the circle and I'm going to put one darker uh, clothespin, one lighter and so on and so forth. Now what I have noticed was, first of all, it's very easy to dye with coffee because you, you can put a bunch of clothespin in but if you leave them too long they get lighter rather than darker so don't leave it too long 24 hours is a good time now i'm using the hello the wooden hello sign for my reef and i'm giving it a nice sponge on the edges just to bring some interest to it now the letter o and h have two points where they are touching my pins and that's where the glue is going to go and that's how I'm going to attach my sign to the reef. And a little bit of greenery, not too much, nothing fancy. And my little reef is ready for display. Now, what do you guys think? I think it came out great and I actually do enjoy um, using coffee as a dyeing agent i think it came out really great but like i said you can see some of those pins are darker and those pins have been actually submerged in the coffee less time than the other ones right so i also grabbed mirror from the dollar tree and i'm deconstructing it i'm <laughs> taking the frame out so the mirror is out and i'm just gonna go and put rope in circular manner um, around 
the frame of the mirror. So the first, the light rope is gonna go on. And you can see that I'm just adding glue on and I decided that I'm going to have all ends for all my ropes ending in the same spot so I can twine in that spot afterwards and mask it. So this was the first one. The second uh, lay the second uh, row is also going to be with this particular rope so I'm just gonna continue on and my third row is just going to be regular ropes so I figured that I'm just gonna add an accent piece really so after that rope is done i'm gonna go with my lighter rope again so now you really see that it's popping out and my last one is going to be the darker rope and it's really just going on the edges to cover the edges and now i'm glue gunning my twine and i'm going to wrap it around the the parts that are cut on the frames to cover them up and there's absolutely no um, really particular way to do it. You just keep on wrapping until you do not see those parts sticking out. And we're going to finish off the twine just by cutting it off and gluing it to the back of the mirror and then I just went in and I glued the mirror back in and that project my friends is done so what do you think for a small piece of wall that you don't know what to do with I think that looks really nice and how quick was it right and then after I was done with it I decided I'm gonna put it inside the reef and I thought it looked so beautiful I can not decide which way do I like it better do I like it this way or do I like it that way I think that they are both such a different looks I I like them both I guess <laughs> well my friends I hope you enjoyed the project and today's video if you did please make sure that you s click that subscribe button and give me a big thumbs up it always helps out my channel with that being said my friends I'll see you all in the next video.